Hello everyone and welcome back to part 15 on 14 on how to create a similar gaming Roblox. In this tutorial, we will be making, we'll be adding a saving system for the uh, upgrade shop and I'll be showing you how to add more upgrades in the future. So if you go ahead and play the game right now, our stats do save but we still have only one upgrade. And this is bad because we want a lot of upgrades. So let's do that right now. And before we actually start by making the upgrade, we'll be saving the upgrade first. So inside of your main script, I want to see the way we are setting up this. So I can... Uh, So I can see how we'll be able to save these. So inside of our upgrades, we have a speed upgrade. And let me try to equip with pet. So if, if I go here and I buy this, our speed upgrade value goes up by one. And it has a limit of 10, I think. Yes, it does. So we'll be fixing the data store and saving the speed upgrade value. So to do that, enter your data store script inside of server script service. And what we're gonna do is inside of your player moving event, what we're gonna do is just copy this, paste it right here. And then instead of player.leaderstats.gems.value, player.upgrades.speed upgrade, I think it was called speed upgrade. Yes, speed upgrade dot value. And inside of your get async, we're gonna get the, yes, I think, yeah, we're gonna get the thing that we just saved. So change this to speed upgrade. And we're gonna do the same thing here. So instead of having two jams, we're gonna change, we're gonna add another variable right here and speed upgrade. And in here, you wanna do speed upgrade is equal to data store can get racing speed upgrade. And after doing that, it should save the speed upgrade value when the player leaves or rejoins the game. So if we go ahead and play the game right now, this should be working just fine. Let's go here to our upgrade thing and we will go ahead and buy some upgrades. And it's, it's now at 10, and if we go ahead and leave the game, but before we do that, I'm going to view the output. And it said error. Okay, that's not from the data store script, but if we go ahead and stop the game, and it said saved, and if we go ahead and play the game, hopefully it should load the value and i'm pretty sure it won't because we have i forgot to set the value when they rejoin the game so inside of here you want to you want to do player dot upgrades dot speed upgrade dot value is equal to speed upgrade and if we go ahead and play the game right now it should work perfectly So I'm pretty sure we should have our upgrades value saved. So let's try that out by getting some upgrades and leaving the game and rejoining. It said saves, so everything should go smoothly. All right, so we're gonna go right here, upgrade, speed upgrade, and as you can see, it's saved. 
and I think if you go ahead and yeah it says error and you can't upgrade it or you gotta do now is to actually save the speed of the player to do that it's really really easy all you gotta do really is just stop the game go here and when the player gets added so as you can see in our speed upgrade we have character .humanoid .walk speed plus equal to three what we're gonna do is we're gonna just create this into a variable turn this into a variable sorry so local uh prize prize or let's just call it val is equal to three and we're gonna just set this to val and you just want to know the value of your upgrade of your value i mean so in this case it's it's three so it's five you're gonna make sure to type five instead let me just format this in real quick and what we're gonna do is inside of our player out event we're gonna put a wait three seconds or just a wait or maybe wait two seconds and what we're gonna do is player or character dot uh, humanoid dot walk speed is equal to and we're gonna set it to player dot dot upgrades dot uh speed upgrade dot value multiplied by the amount so in this case it's going to be three and remember to change this number to the amount that you have right here and if you go ahead and play the game right now it should change my speed value to the speed that we want so as you can see it's not working because it was not loaded yet i'm pretty sure yes that's probably why so instead of doing that inside of your data i mean main script we're gonna remove that and let's change this way to maybe five maybe and let's see if we can move fast and yeah as you can see our upgrades did save and we can upgrade it again and it works perfectly now i'm going to be showing you how to add more upgrades in the future to do that it's really really simple all you gotta do is inside of your upgrades frame container you're gonna duplicate this and let's set this to a jump upgrade so rename it to jump and inside of its script inside of the text label uh, instead of changing the text to player dot speed upgrade the value we're gonna change this to jump upgrade jump upgrade make sure you spell this right so make sure each word is cap is capital and in here player dot max upgrade the value i mean that's script up there dot max upgrade dot value so that's pretty good and inside of your max upgrades you set this to whatever you want the price i'm going to have this one at 200 just to see the difference and inside of your main script what we're gonna do is upgrades frame dot container copy this paste it right here change this to jump which is the name of, your, of the frame we just created the upgrade button the mouse button one click local results is equal to game the upgrade stores the upgrade speed let's change this to upgrade jump and what we're gonna do is copy this and inside of your remote functions folder we're gonna duplicate this and rename it to this Call invoke service create up and dot invoke dot jump which is the name of the frame dot price dot value come upgrade dot container dot jump dot max upgrade dot value and we're gonna change this to upgrade frame dot container dot speed dot price dot value 
instead of having this set to that, we're going to change this to jump, which is the name of the frame again, and speed dot price dot. We're going to change this to jump, and if you uh, inside of our server script this time, we're going to copy this, paste it right here, and game dot replicate storage dot upgrade jump dot on server invoke is equal to function that and all you gotta do is change this to jump upgrade and jump upgrade and yeah I think this should be it. And actually, instead of ch changing this, we're gonna change the jump power to the value. And also, I just realized something, sorry. In here, you wanna have 16, which is the default value. Uh, 16, not 15, which is the default walk speed value. And we're gonna add a plus. And you wanna put this inside of parentheses. And go back here and let's change this to like 10 so that we can see the difference. Jump power. I'm pretty sure that's how you create a jump power upgrade. I'm pretty sure it's named jump power. So jump power, yes. That is true. Now I'm going to delete this. And what we're gonna do is inside of uh, here so let's copy the jump upgrade name and inside of your player added event what we're gonna do is copy this paste it here and we're gonna this to jump upgrade and we're gonna paste that right here right here jump upgrade with caps as always jump upgrade yes and in here we're gonna do character dot humanoid dot wall dot uh jump power is equal to uh what was it called 50 i think i think 50 is the default jump power value plus and we're gonna do player dot upgrade dot dot uh, jump upgrade dot value multiplied by three or ten which is the default value and now if you go ahead and play the game it should work just fine yes so let's play the game and see how this looks okay so let's go ahead and as you can see you can't upgrade this but we can upgrade this though and as you can see now we jump way higher and if we go ahead and leave the game and rejoin i'm pretty sure it's going to save the jump power value so we just gotta wait and it didn't so that's oh i know why because we did not tell it to so all you gotta do is inside of your data store script player remove him event put this right here jump upgrade jump upgrade player dot upgrade dot jump upgrade dot value and in here you want to do jump upgrade and you want to do jump upgrade is equal to data store colon get async and player player dot user id dot dot space dash and jump upgrade and 
things in here. You just want to change this to player dot jump upgrades. Player dot dot upgrades dot jump upgrades equal to jump upgrade. And if you go ahead and play the game now, it should save our values perfectly. Jump upgrade is set to zero, but that's normal because we haven't upgraded it yet. And if we go ahead and leave the game. And we join. As you can see, our jump power save. So, this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helps, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!